That may not be the last time we see fireworks on Capitol Hill, especially with the Mueller report due within the week. I want to bring in now Democratic Congressman Mike Quigley. He sits on the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, I appreciate you joining, joining us. Let's talk about the Attorney General, William Barr. Got hammered by your Democratic colleagues for his handling of the Mueller report so far. Do you think he understands or cares about the criticism he's getting? Oh, absolutely not. I think he applied for the job by writing a memo, basically outlining how the uh, theory of law uh, that would allow him to believe there was obstruction was unfounded in this case. Uh, so he was hired to uh, exonerate the president, no matter what the report said as it relates to obstruction. And he was hired to keep as much of this report hidden from the American public and as much as he possibly can hidden from Congress. So uh, he's doing his job. Uh, nobody in, con in Congress can fire him. So I don't expect him to change his path. Uh, Adam Schiff, who's your chairman of the House Intel Committee, told CNN that um, Barr was acting like the president's Roy Cohn, that he was betraying his pledge to be transparent. Do you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. But again, I don't think that's his purpose. I don't think that's what he has in mind. Uh, I, I think there's uh, other parallels to... Um, People in previous administrations, like Mr. Bork, uh, they all have their moments in history. Uh, this one, I think, infamously. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's going to be very difficult for us to get the full report and the underlying information, which is absolutely critical. Yeah. More about Congressman Schiff now. Um, Chairman Schiff says that he also requested counterintelligence information gathered by the special counsel, which might or it may or may not be part of the Mueller report because it's important to learn whether the president is compromised. Should the committee go to court for this? This began as a counterintelligence investigation, questioning whether the president of the United States was compromised. I think there's a lot of evidence that he was. I think the second part of getting all this information in the report is to find out where the gaps are on the counterintelligence side such as money laundering. As you know, we know a lot about Deutsche Bank laundering Russian money illegally. They got fined $600 million for it. We also know that they were the only bank willing to finance Trump operations for the decade up until he became president of the United States. So there's a lot of information in the report that may not have been relevant to the decision as to who to bring to justice by the special counsel, but it could be particularly valuable to the House and Senate investigators determining whether or not the president was compromised. So, you know, Congressman, Barr refused to answer whether the White House has seen the Mueller report. Um, when asked by Representative Chris if anyone other than the DOJ reviewed his summary letter, Barr first said that he didn't recall, and then he later clarified. Watch this. I checked with my staff and was told that uh, just before the letters were out, after they were finalized and just before they went out, uh, he uh, did advise the White House Counsel's Office that the letters were being sent, but they were not uh, allowed or even asked to make any changes to the letters. But we did, we gave them, we notified them before we issued them. Mr. Chris, I'm sure would have asked you, did they get to see the letter, however? I, don't, they, I think it, it may have been read to them. They did not get to see the letter. Congressman, does that raise concerns to you of coordination with the White House? Well, look, I've seen coordination with the White House ever since this investigation began. Uh, my concern is uh, power corrupts absolutely. I don't think my Republican colleagues in Congress appreciate that. They've worked hand in glove as special counsel to the president, protecting him politically and legally. The president has surrounded himself with people who don't understand the importance of the independence of the Justice Department, for, or for that matter, the independence of the integrity of the intelligence community. The far-ranging damage this president has done to the reputation and the independence of both of those entities is extraordinary and extraordinarily damaging. Listen, it was a really unexpected answer he gave when asked why um, he didn't include any of the summaries already prepared by the Mueller team, basically saying he didn't want to give too much or too little information. Does that seem like a credible answer to you? No, here's what he should do. Uh, he should release the full report with all the underlying documentation to Congress. You know, my committee of intelligence 
gets the most sensitive classified information on an ongoing basis. Mm. Uh, we know how to handle this information. And frankly, we need to do it to complete our part of the investigation. So uh, look, Mr. Barr is out to protect the president. It's no surprise that he does any of these things. Well, today Barr also said that he tried to include as much of Mueller's words uh, as he could, but his conclusions didn't include a single full sentence from the report. Again, does that pass the smell test? You know, all he has to do is release the report. He has a hard time saying the president's been exonerated mm -hmm. and not releasing a single sentence from the report. Uh, again, he's, I believe he's following orders. I don't know exactly when these were all given to him, mm -hmm. but it's clear the job he was applying for wasn't to act as the independent attorney general. Congressman Quigley, thank you for your time.